I'm going to show you how to replace the front hub bearings on this Ram 1500. If you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com. Let's get started. Using a 22 millimeter socket, we're going to take the lug nuts off. I'll remove the wheel. Using a 21 millimeter socket, take these two caliper bracket bolts out. We're going to take the bracket and the caliper off together. Slide the caliper off the rotor with a brake caliper hanger. Just going to hang it from the upper control arm out of the way. And grab the rotor, just slide it off. If it's stuck on there, you can take a hammer, just hit in these locations, slide it off. Using a 36 millimeter socket, take the axle nut off. Going to use a large punch, just hammer the axle in, just make sure it separates from the hub. Now we're going to take the wiring harness for the wheel speed sensor off. Just use a trim tool, just pop out the clips right there, off the brake hose. two under here, under the inner fender liner. Now we can disconnect the connector. You can just use a pick or the trim tool. Just pop this little lock back, push down, and disconnect it. Take a 21 millimeter socket, loosen this nut up. that so it's loose. You just leave a couple threads on there. You can use a special front end tool to press the ball joint out of the knuckle or just giving it a tap with a hammer. And that will separate right there. Pull this down. You can take the nut off the rest of the way. And just slide that out. And grab the axle and just push it through a little bit. If you need to, give it a little tap. Then you can access the bolts on the back side using a 21 millimeter socket. Take those out. And the last one on the other side. The hub may just slide off of the knuckle, but more likely than not, it's gonna be stuck on there. So we're just gonna temporarily slide the ball joint back in and just put the nut on. Then we can hammer the back side. Taking the hammer, just hammer it out. Slides right out and take the shield off. I'm just going to take a wire brush, just clean up some of the corrosion. I'm just going to take a thin coat of anti seize, just coat the area where there was corrosion, just to prevent that in the future. Take the shield. Slide the ABS wire through the shield. Get that lined up. Slide it over the axle. Mm -hmm. 
take one of the bolts. If you can try to get it past the axle, get that started. All right, we got one of those bolts started, but before we put the other ones in, I'll just take the ball joint out again, just tip it forward. Get the other bolt started. And we'll start tightening those down. Now we're going to torque those bolts to 134 foot pounds. And the last one. Get that underneath there. All right, there we go. Now line the upper ball joint up. Get the nut started. I'm just going to use a pry bar, pry that down, tighten up the nut. the stud starts spinning, you can use a 10 millimeter wrench on the bottom and then a 21 millimeter ratchet wrench if you need to. It's snug. Now you want to torque this nut to 40 foot pounds. And then you want to go an additional 200 degrees. If you have a torque angle meter, that's going to help. If not, do the best you can. Good. Push the push pins in place. Push that in the retainer there. Plug the connector in. Lock it down. Push that through the inner fender well. Right there. Put the axle nut on. Snug that up first. To prevent the hub from spinning, just take a pry bar, go in between the studs, and we're going to torque it to 185 foot pounds. Good. I'm just going to spray this with a little anti seize, just a thin coat. It's good. With the rotor, if you need to, you can clean the backside with a wire brush if it's got some rust on it. Slide the rotor on. Temporarily, I'm going to put a lug nut on just to hold the rotor in place. Take the caliper off the hanger. Make sure the hose isn't twisted. Slide it over the rotor. Put the bolts in. Get those started. And snug those down. Torque those bolts to 130 foot-pounds. Take the lug nut off. Put the wheel on. Put the lug nuts on. Snug those down. Now we're going to torque these in a cross pattern to 130 foot-pounds to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check.
All right, that's all set. If you need any of those parts, you can get those at 1AAuto.com. Make sure you watch all those how-to videos to help you with your installs. And if you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.